My name is Tatiana Fazlalizare, and I'm an artist based in Brooklyn, New York. And this is my project, Stop Telling Women to Smile. Stop Telling Women to Smile is a public art series that is addressing street harassment, particularly gender-based street harassment. I started the project about a year ago, and I started it because I wanted to talk about my experiences with street harassment. It was my way of speaking back to my harassers, guys who um, say things to me on the street that are unwelcome, that are unwanted, that are aggressive and assertive, and, and um, really make you feel uncomfortable and harassed. I thought it was important to talk about street harassment, where it actually happens in the environment. Um, so instead of doing a painting, which is what I usually do because I'm primarily an oil painter, I decided to try something new and go outside and, and, and talk about street harassment there and you know speak up for myself and express myself and what I wanted to say about it in this environment where it actually happens. I sit down and I talk with women and we talk about street harassment, we talk about their experiences, I hear their stories, what they want to say to harassers and I, I draw their portraits and I put it outside in the street. So I'm putting a face to these words. It's not just, hey, street harassment is bad. You actually get to see this person's face, this woman's face who goes through this daily and what she wants to say about it. I've experienced a lot of street harassment and it's really crazy. Like some of the things that I hear, and, and when I tell the stories to people that don't live in New York, they just can't believe like what happens here. And it's really bad. It's an everyday thing, not just daily, it's all through the day, you know. Anywhere that I happen to be walking. Um, and there's a range, you know. There's a range from, you know, what they think is nice, which is like, hey, beautiful or something. But they'll still get mad if you don't respond. They're like, well, you're welcome, bitch you know, or something, because, you know, you're supposed to be so grateful that, you know, they care. It's like, I didn't really ask you. I don't really need to give you the time. Uh, eight of you did it today. I can't stop for each and every one of you. I have places to go and things to do. I do not have unlimited time. But then if I pay attention to all of you, I'm a whore. So, I mean, what am I supposed to do here? I've given myself a curfew because I feel like there are times I can't even walk down quiet streets. Or I feel like even the quieter the street, you know, the more dangerous that it is because of the level of harassment that you receive and just the, um, I guess, the entitlement people feel like, you know, if, if, I'm, if they're complimenting you in the way that they feel is, you know, complimentary, they feel like, you know, you owe them something. And I don't know to what extent someone will go as far as what they think that I owe. I shoot their photograph, I draw their portrait from that photograph, and I come up with a caption, I come up with text for the poster that's inspired by what they told me. Sometimes it's a direct quote, sometimes it's simply something that kind of sums up, I feel like, what their experiences are and what they feel about street harassment, and I add that to the poster. I design the posters, I print them out, and I go out and I wheat paste. Um, you know, wheat pasting, it's, it's really fun. It's, it's, uh, I feel like it's a great and perfect medium for this project. I make the wheat paste at home usually, and I, um, I go out, usually by myself, sometimes in a group, and um, we'll wheat paste these posters around. I try to put them up in the area where the woman lives or, you know, where she feels close to, to street harassment. Um, and, uh, and then I put them up everywhere. I, I try to uh, put them up wherever I can. I realize that street harassment doesn't happen in one community. It doesn't happen in one neighborhood. It happens everywhere. And so I try to spread these posters out and cover a lot of ground. I always fantasize about walking around with like a huge sign over my head that says, I'm not here for you. Just, I am not here for you. The fucking end, like that's it. I'm not here for you. You know, that's not what my existence is about. I actually don't give a fuck if that sounds selfish, but I have nothing to do with you and I don't have to do anything for you or about you. What so fucking ever? That is my sole choice, you know? And it will be about me. I 
every poster is personal and specific and particular and when you put them all together you see how it fits into this context you have this whole group of women who are all speaking their voices and all saying what they want to say about street harassment